fellas, fellas, I'm about to give y'all seven common style mistakes that we should no longer be making. Any. Please, if you're doing this, stop right now. I'm begging you. I please, please, just don't do it anymore. This is for your sake. I got y'all. Hey, what's up, LSF fam? Welcome to Lee Style and Whoa. Yeah, I'm all right, guys. I'm all right. Don't worry about it. I talk about men's style, fragrance, grooming, some vlogs here and there, and I throw a dash of confidence at you. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification, too. Let's hang out. Come on. So before I start, fragrance of the day, Bloom Ideal Cologne by Girl Lane. This right here is a summer banger. I'm going to be dropping a full review on this one soon. And this made my top 10 list, so check that out. Alright guys, this has been weighing heavy on my mind. But I pretty much came up with 7 common style mistakes that I see all the time. And please, if you're doing this, and you want to be a stylish guy and you don't want to look crazy out there, I got y'all. So number one on the list, and this is the one that just makes me like, whew, it, it makes me mad, makes me mad. Swimming in a suit. What do I mean by swimming in a suit? Now, I've seen people get suits that are either handed down or they just walk in the store and they put, they put the suit on and it's super baggy. Now, I know you guys have heard this a thousand times. I know a thousand YouTubers that talk about style, talk about this. Hell, I know I've touched on this a couple times. It's that bad that we all got to keep telling you to stop wearing suits like that. Please, it does not look good. And I don't want y'all to look at it like, oh, it's a suit. No, suits aren't made equally. Just like 4K and OLED aren't the same thing. Look, suits are not made equally. If a suit does not fit you the way it's supposed to fit you, if it looks baggy, if it looks sloppy, you're better off just not wearing that suit to begin with. So please, get your suit tailored. You can go to a place like Indochino for as low as like 350 bucks, or if you want something a little bit better, stop by DM. He can hook you up for as little as 400 bucks if you get a custom made suit. But listen guys, there's just too many options out there for you from just tailoring to custom that are affordable. So please, when you wear a suit, just wear it the proper way. Have it fit you the proper way. Have it look how it's supposed to look. I cannot stress that enough. Number two, and number two is crazy because I actually just seen it today when I was at work and I was like about to scream, I was about to explode. But basically wearing white socks with everything, like having dress pants on or a suit with white socks, like it doesn't go. Like you need something that has contrast. When you're wearing white socks with a suit, it just doesn't look right. Like, you guys seen the picture when Future took the picture and he was like this and they said good guy and they had white socks. Future, you are not a good guy. Good guys don't wear white socks with a suit. Look stupid. Stop doing it. Like, this guy had on, he had on a really dressy outfit. Like, he had a nice polo on. He had some nice shorts. He had it tucked in. Everything was looking right. And he had some really nice shoes, like some dressier shoes with some white athletic socks. Like, if you're gonna wear athletic socks, wear athletic shoes. It, it doesn't look good when you're wearing dressy shoes with athletic socks, or, or athletic socks with dressy shoes. It doesn't match. It doesn't look right, it looks off. There's a reason why they're called athletic socks, so just wear, please, don't wear white socks. Just wear something other than white socks because it looks a lot better, it looks a lot cleaner, it makes sense. And when you're wearing white with dressy clothes, it just, you, you have to have some type of contrast, all right? So please, no more white socks or dressy clothes or suits. Number three, the U-neck or the unbutton all the way to the belly button. Taco meat showing, that is not attractive. I don't know who told you it is, but please stop doing it. 
Them guys want to, I, I, you've been in the gym, you've been working out, your chest is big, I get it. Look, I'm up there too, I've been working out, my chest is up there, all right? But you can still wear a shirt like this or a shirt that's a little bit tighter that can show off your chest, but you don't have to unbutton your, your shirt all the way down here for us to see your abs. Like if I could see your abs, you probably unbuttoned it too far down. And now you just look like a douche. So please stop doing that. It is not attractive, it is not stylish. Number four, big husky watch. Like those Invicta watches that I see people wear and it looks like a clock on your wrist. Like stop it. Why are you wearing a watch that big? Now, there's only some cases that I can see somebody almost get away with it. Almost. Like, it's never okay. But the only time I've almost seen somebody get away with it is you have those guys that have those Hulk hands that are like this big. That kind of makes sense, but it still doesn't work because you can still find a watch that fits your wrist and it's going to be a little bit more minimalistic and it's not going to be as fat and it's just going to look a lot better and a lot stylish. So please guys, get away from those big husky clocks on your hand. They do not look cool. Stop it, please. The designer guys. What is the designer guy? Now, a lot of y'all aren't gonna like this, and I'm probably gonna get a lot of dislikes for this, but it's cool. A lot of you guys are the hype beast. So, I'm gonna wear everything Louis, everything Gucci. Now, you see right now, I got a coach hat. I got some coach sneakers on right now. And I don't know if you can see this, but I have a little Louis thing over here. But these are subtle pieces that are just making my outfit pop a little bit more. I don't have all these crazy logos. I don't have a bunch of designer on because a lot of people just wear a bunch of designer and put it together really poorly and think because it's designer, it's fashion and I'm killing it and I look great. But no, that is not the object of the game. Whatever you're wearing has to fit you right, has to look good on you, has to make sense. So guys, stop just buying a bunch of expensive stuff and just putting it on because it's expensive thinking it looks right. Put it on the right way. I can wear zero designer and still look very fly because it's how I put it together. Or I could wear a bunch of designer and look fly, but I don't need to wear a bunch of designer. A lot of you guys are just spending the money to look cool and you look stupid. So guys, make sure you pair your pieces together the right way. Make sure it makes sense. That was number five. Number six, cuffing your pants right. I've seen people with these really, really baggy jeans. Baggy jeans just aren't it anymore. And this is for you guys, the old heads, because you old heads like coming at us all the time. You're like, I'm not going to wear tight pants. I'm not going to. You don't have to wear tight pants. Just wear pants that fit you the right way. Those pants don't have to be skinny. They don't have to be slim fit. They can just match your legs. You can have bigger legs. You can just wear pants that are probably straight legs that are just going to fit your legs better. They can still have some room in it, but just wear pants that don't have too much ruffle on the bottom because that ruffle does not look right. And when you cuff it, you don't want the cuff to look too chunky because your pants just end up looking stupid. You want you want it to fit to the silhouette of your foot. So you want it to drop at the top of your sneakers or dress shoes. That is how you want your pants to fit. They just look a lot better. They look a lot cleaner. And the last one, you old heads are going to hate me again, but it's the old guy. What is the old guy? The old guy that just would not let go of the past. The old guy that's still wearing the bandanas, the, the triple XL hoodies, the triple XL jerseys. Don't be that guy. It was cool back when you, you know, the hat cocked to the side like T.I. Like that stuff was cool at some point. It is not cool anymore. So if you're trying to get with the times and you're trying to look like a younger guy, bro, 
do you. That's cool. But do it the right way. At least dress how younger guys are dressing now. And I'm not talking about as far as height beast. Just dress a little bit cleaner. And if you're older, you should want to dress a little bit older. Dress your age. You look stupid when you're trying to dress like how we used to dress in 2002, 2005. Come on. That was cool back then. You don't look cool anymore. So do yourself a favor and just dress a little bit cleaner. It's okay. We're still going to think you're cool if you dress a little bit cleaner. But that is it. Tell me what you guys think about that. But it's so many more that I could cover that I feel like this is just going to be a series. Trust and believe I will make another one. Let me know how much you guys like this one. Don't forget to smell stylish. And I got a link down below on all the places you guys can follow me. Make sure you check it out. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, share this video, and of course, subscribe. See you beautiful people next time. Peace.